Hi, welcome to the Swift Combine introduction. The Combine framework provides a declarative Swift API for processing values over time. If you are an experienced iOS developer, then you are familiar with delegates, which help in passing data from one section of the application to another. Combine is an alternative way of passing data from one section of the app to the other. As I was starting with learning Combine, it took some time before I understood how it truly works. But with practice, I'm happy that I understand it now. And I'm also happy that I could share what I learned with you. Regardless if you're a beginner or an experienced developer, you might be curious as to when to use the Combine framework. You typically would need to use Combine if you have a user interface that requires to be updated in real time and you need the data to be transformed from its original type to a different type. When getting started with Swift Combine, you need to be familiar with a few concepts. First, the publisher. Publishers publish the data that it receives to downstream subscribers. It is an object where you give the responsibility to talk to subscribers. Publishers are like news agencies that receive the news from their reporters. Combine provides a lot of publishers you could use out of the box while you have the option to create your own. Next, we have the operators. Operators are methods with specific functions that allow you to process the incoming data before it gets to the subscriber. It is like the proofreader or editor for a print news, or if it's a live TV broadcast where the news is directly delivered to the viewers with or without editing. Operators are optional and it is needed if you just need to do some additional data processing or transformation. Then our data is received by our subscribers. Normally subscribers are methods with closures where you can access the output value. Then finally the output value is displayed on the user interface that you assign to receive the value or another publisher that is also acting as a subscriber. Here we're looking at the just publisher. That receives an integer, which is the number 5. The Just Publisher emits the value and finishes the life cycle. As the value is moving, we have a map that allows us to do some transformation from integer to string. Then the subscriber sync method allows any receiver to consume the final data. In this quick combined introduction, I only have covered the very tip of the iceberg. Combine provides a lot of tools for developers and I encourage you to read about it online. I hope by now you already have an idea how Swift Combine works, and subscribe to this channel for more Combine related videos in the future.